Hi, I'm Clara. Today we'll focus on the left column. When we move mouse to the icons, there will be names to tell us what it is. Let's start from select line. Click it. It will help to choose the part we need cut, which is shown in green color. If we click the whole part, we can see all are chosen. Drag will enable us to move the whole part freely via keeping pressing left button of the mouse. 3D view will make us to rotate the part freely via keeping pressing left button of the mouse, so that we can check the part from different angles. Zoom will display the part to fit the screen size. Compensation is for the curve, which is related to the cutting accuracy. When we click the icon, it will prompt a box. We can input the compensation value here. The value should take the actual cutting as base. We can make the compensation apply to the selected object or the whole one. They are one out of two. We can also apply the compensation to wrapped parts like holes, or cross sections like cutting section, or both. The style here shows the available options to cancel compensation, to make the software judge automatically, to make inner compensation, or to make outer one. Allow extended style is mainly for the inner and the outer contour. There is always wall thickness for all materials. So when we choose maximal contour, the laser will run the cut via outer contour. Minimal contour will be the inner contour. In out will help us to make the compensation have a quick change from inner to outer or the contrary. But it's only useful when we choose the compensation style as auto judgment. Click leading line, a box is prompt. We can set the parameters of leading line here. It could be line or line plus circle as the leading line. We can set the angle between leading line and actual cutting, the length and radius. If we tick add cooling point, the order should be leading line, a stop for cooling, and object cutting. Lead position is divided into two categories. First one is talking the positioning cutting section. Let's select the cutting section part, click leading line. We input zero in leading line position. 
we can see there is a leading line here. Let's try to change the value here to 90. It changes. Change lead line position is for the parts on the flight surface of mental tubes. At whole end, the farthest and nearest are based on the distance from the cutting head. If we take at whole farthest end, the leading line will be far away from the cutting head. At whole nearest end, we will be place the leading line close to the cutting head. Let's see their display. Leading at long side and leading at vertex are just as it means. We can enable leading lines for all or closed graphs only. The options here we can make further breakdown. Effect for all or effect for selected. Lead line bottom here is for leading out. It will make sure the whole cutting smoother. Start point will help us to change the cutting starter freely. Click the icon and we click any place at the cutting section. We can see the leading line change together with a start point. Macro joint will break down the cutting, which will avoid the cutting part falling down. Click the icon, we can set the length of macro joint and then click the place we want. There will be a short distance which the cutting will not process. is in Chinese, I don't know why. It's to make gaps or extend the cutting. Please ignore the words, just focus on the software runs. It's almost the same as in SEPCAD. If you need to find more, please click the video up here. Reverse here will change cut in direction. Let's see its function. Click cooling point, we can see the small arrow becomes a small square. And we click a position here. There is a white spot. It's the cooling point. When the cutting runs here, laser will stop and blow gas and then resume the cutting. Weld compensation is suitable for bevel cutting, which is used to weld process after cutting. When we need cut some long tube or pep, or when we find the cut is a little off-sight, which means probably there will be error in center between the chalk and the tube. So we can apply six center here to make sure the cutting accuracy. Select a part, click the icon, we can see there is red color noted. It's the position to six center. 
When the laser is going to cut this section, it will process six center first and then begin cutting. If we need to add six center to multiple parts, we need to choose them, click the icon, input the distance between two positions, or tick it here. It means to six center before each part cutting. Graph shift will save us troubles to update the file when there's tiny position deviation in less parts. Let's imagine the square here is a little lower left. So we can select it, click graph shift. If we know the deviation value, we can just input here. Let's try to click the buttons and see it's play. Clear here, we can cancel what we did previously or clear them all. Select the whole object and clear all, we can see all functions we enabled are gone. Display mode here enables us to choose what to show on the object, like the process order, start points, cutting direction, View selection allows multiple directions to see the object. Refresh view will make the file to rotate as we click buttons here. If we deselect it, the following will be gone. Reverse view allows the file to rotate 180 around the z-axis, is in help to avoid reloading tubes if the direction of the tube position is placed inversely. Curve Smooth will smooth the selected curves and input the precision value here is only affected for parts on the flat surface of mental tube, but not cutting section. Site Swing Length of A-axis is a parameter setting for the bevel cutting head. Measure here will enable to measure a specific distance between two spots. Click the icon. Find any position here and then we can say there is a value shown here. And after the distance measure, there will be a circular ruler. We can see the value shown here. It will help to find the tiny error. I'm Clara. See you next Friday for another video on Tube Pro. See you. Bye.